Hey guys, this is Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com, and today I have with me Christine, Director of Business Development for Quick Office, and she has a brand new version of Quick Office available for Honeycomb, is that correct? Yep, Honeycomb. And uh, it's coming out soon. It's coming out soon. So it launched here at the show, but it's not going to be available. Um, and it's for Android Honeycomb, but it's also for iPad 2. Is that correct? We have an iPad version we just launched on March 9th. On March 9th, so it's already available for iOS. That's right. That's correct. Um, why don't you walk us through a demonstration of you know the new and enhanced Quick Office on the Honeycomb? We have the Motorola Zoom tablet here. So uh, go ahead and show the right. folks at home on the uh, camera okay. here. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Um, so. What's great about Honeycomb is that, and what we've done with Honeycomb, is we've optimized for a larger screen device, so a 10-inch yeah. display. So when I when I click on our icon, the, the, the first view we get is our file manager view. And what we do here is, uh, what's great about this view is that we give you access to all your cloud content repositories. So from this view, you can see um, access to Box, Dropbox, SugarSync, Huddle, Google Docs, and MobileMe all in one view and also as well as local uh, because we recognize people are going to want to store locally as well as in the cloud. Um, again, taking advantage of Honeycomb, one of the key features with Honeycomb is, a, the, is the representation of fragments. You'll see fragments are these individual content panes. And so we can quickly go from, you know, to access Google Docs, show our Google Docs, uh, this is on our Wi-Fi or 3G connection here, and then what's stored in local. If, let's say, I forget where I store a document, what's great about Quick Office is that we have an aggregated content search. So we can search for files across the repositories. So let me just type in Barcelona, because we are just there showing in the Android booth uh, our Honeycomb preview. So I'm going to search for the Barcelona document and you'll notice it's pulling up across all my cloud content repositories. So again, we see, we know we have one in, in Dropbox and we have on our local. So let me just show you what we've done um, with our word processor. So again, quick office, we have office, word, PowerPoint, and Excel, as well as PDF viewing. And we've taken advantage of some of the really key new UI elements that are associated with Honeycomb, like the action bar that is persistent and gives you a quick access to some of your key features and functionality. Um, for instance, if we want to change the font of our, um, of our document, we have font, alignment, and color uh, all within uh, the dropdown. Uh, in addition, what's really nice about a honeycomb and Android, uh, the Android operating system, is that you have this seamless integration to, um, to Google apps and services. For instance, I can insert images from my uh, camera and gallery. Um, I can also, uh, let's just highlight this, let's highlight Barcelona. Um, and when I highlight uh, on my document, this action bar changes into a context action bar to be contextually specific to what we're doing. So I can easily go to web search straight within my document, which is really nice within Android OS, go out to the web, browse from Barcelona what I selected, and then come right back into the document. What's also a great feature with Android uh, OS is that I can highlight, let's highlight some text here, and we've done great integration. Oops, I think it's just the angle that I'm at. We've done great integration with the text-to-speech that's on board in the operating system, so Google Voice. So if you'll listen up, we can just hit the speaker, and then it speaks to us because of the integration with with a population of 1,615,908 in 2008. Great, the speech-to-text, which is fantastic. The other nice thing about Android is that uh, where there's voice recognition. So let's just say um, here, and I wanted to, to actually edit the text, but I wanted to do it via my voice. I can just click on the mic. We're here now at CTIA doing a demo. And with the voice, Google's voice recognition, you'll notice that it's, it's inserted. We're here now at CTIA doing a demo. So it's right within that, that paragraph which is key for the Android OS. Very nice features in Honeycomb. Okay, so that's a Word document. The other nice thing is, you know, we have a flyout menu. We can integrate straight into email from this document. So we just hit the send button, we save it, 
and then we're able to go straight into email, seamless integration there. Okay, so that's, that's Word, um, Action Bar, et cetera. Let's go into um, some other interesting features and show you some of our drag and drop uh, functionality, another key application framework piece that Google's introduced with Honeycomb. So for drag and drop, I'm just going to go to a sample folder. We can take a document if I wanted to share it with a colleague. I just take, hold the document, oops, sorry, hold the document, pull it up here, and then drag it, drop it, again, back into email integration. But let me show you another um, key element with, uh, I'm going to show you a PowerPoint presentation. So again, full functionality, we've done a lot of updates with PowerPoint. We do uh, WYSIWYG editing. Um, it's a very nice editor on board. Uh, again, a lot of updates. So I'm going to show you our drag and drop functionality that's part of the uh, application framework for Honeycomb that makes it very easy and simple to manipulate documents. Drag and drop, and again, being able to you know, edit documents quickly within the document itself. Again, WYSIWYG. So, that's a nice feature from PowerPoint. And this is great not only for a business application, but for students as well, to high school, to, you know, even I remember in middle school we had PowerPoint presentations. This is great. This can go ahead and reduce my need for school books and papers. I can do everything if I... Uh, go to, if I do a PowerPoint presentation at home, I can take this, you know, meet up with my group at study and then say, oh, hey, let's add this in here, that in here. And then, you know, oh, hey, I, I took all our data, I put it together and like, no, 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 we should have this tile over here, that tile over there. Everything's very customizable and very easy to use. Exactly, Tom. It's, and it's, it's so easy, it's so nice. And just in those work type situations where you're working with teams and you're sharing in the cloud, we make it very easy for you to either send to your teammates via the integration, let's just discard changes right there or we can we can drag if you want to share it with your team and you want to share it to you know Google Docs or Dropbox we just we just drop it in oops and copy let's copy to box.net so we drop it in that folder now you're sharing with the rest of your team which is nice it's a very nice feature to take content and share it across your other cloud repositories what is this um, app run for well, we're current. We're it's going to be out in the market soon, probably within okay. the next few days, and we'll have our pricing there. All right. So definitely on the Android market, check out Quick Office. That's Q U I C K O F F I C E. Yep. It's the most spelling I've had to do all week, actually. Wow. So it's huge. And also, let me just add to that. So we've just launched yesterday our smartphone uh, update or upgrade. So you can go into the market today and get our upgrade. We've got a great, a lot of great new features and functionality to that update. So if you're definitely in a business application world, if you're in a student world, something like that, definitely check out Quick Office for you know, mobile office editing on the go. So again, I want to say thank you to- Tom, thanks, it was a pleasure. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching more videos here at CTI 2011. Check out more of our footage as well at cellphonetrek.com. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.